Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend, your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. So this is for the weekend of Friday, February 14th through Sunday, February 16th. For those of you that are celebrating Valentine's Day, a very happy Valentine's Day to you and Valentine's Day weekend. And for those of you that are not, disregard that message, yeah? <laughs> Anyway, um, one thing that I do want to say that I've actually been meaning to say all week um, before I get started, I want to thank everyone that reached out um, uh, when I mentioned I'm looking for graphic artists. I don't think I've replied to everyone just yet. Um, I'm still working through that and working through my emails and all that. But um, for those of you that did reach out and offer, you know, services or like um, get in contact to see what I was looking for or whatnot. I am greatly, greatly appreciative of it. Um, for those of you that missed it, I am in the process of um, going through a little bit of a rebranding um, and I'm looking for individuals that are um, illust I'm looking for illustrators, artists, uh, graphic artists, someone that can help me redo like a logo and create um, uh, custom emojis um, and um, eventually turn like start developing like the logo, the logo idea and start making um, uh, merchandise and stuff like t-shirts and I want to start making like coffee mugs and stuff like that so um, that was the the APB that I put out there um, for any of you that is also still interested and you might you know want to collaborate on something um, hit me up you could always email me you could you could DM me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations but also to those of you that have already do, done so thank you thank you thank you so much um, and I, I will be getting back with you soon if i haven't done so no, done so already okay awesome um i believe that's it okay so let's get started with the message so i have your pre-shuffle here and it seems that there has been there there's like a completion of a cycle um which is pretty <laughs> A pretty general statement a pretty vague statement but I had a phrase in my head before but now I can't seem to remember what that is and I just realized I'm gonna have to close my blinds once the Sun comes up sufficiently but that's okay I'll do that later but what we have is we have strength in the ten of Pentacles okay and then the overall energy is the moon with the hermit all right so what I'm getting with the moon, especially with this side of the moon card, is definitely an energy of waking up from the matrix in some way, coming out of some sort of illusion, coming out of some sort of fear. Now, I feel like this was a phase in which, you know, you went through a period with strength here where you were facing, you were really facing the devil. Like there were some massive fears that were probably coming up and, and just like rearing their ugly heads that were probably trying to block you or stand in your way. But with this 10 of pentacles, which to me is, yes, is longevity, is, is, um, I just heard retirement. Okay. Maybe some of this could have to do with retirement for you if you are of that, that time or that age, that time in your life or that age. But, um, I mean, the 10 of pentacles could represent your path towards retirement too, but also, you know, with this side of the card here, this is, you know, it shows the gentleman that's, you know, later on in life. Um, so he definitely looks like he could be of retirement age, but also as a reader here, the 10 of pentacles, in my opinion, does can symbolize, uh, an ending of a cycle an ending of a lesson, a closing out of a lesson. Um, and I just feel like there's something here in your life that you've been experiencing lately that has caused you to have to really stand up for yourself or hold your strength or like stand up to the devil in whatever way that is. And we have been talking about the devil all week. Um, you know, the devil could be toxicity. It could be addictions. It could be um, rampant emotions. I, I did just hear that. It could be fears. Okay. Um, so that could be something that you could have been dealt dealing with all week, but it seems like that si that phase or that cycle is coming to an end. Um, and was it last weekend where I did morning coffee and the message was, or the, the, the title was, this feels like a final wash. 
Yes, it was last weekend. And so I feel like maybe I, it's been over the course of this week or um, whatever this cycle is for you. If you if you're not necessarily watching this, you know, at the time that it's recorded or the, the you know, when it's like first put out. Um, but like it could just be whatever this cycle is for you. It was in 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 many in many ways a final wash cycle. Okay, there was some final purging, final cleansing, final healing that has been accomplished here. Um, and I, I'm going to be honest with you, if this has been your week, what I feel like your weekend is about to be is like the recovery. It's like, okay, so you did that final wash all week and you did the final rinse and blah, blah, blah. And now like... If, we'll, if, if we're saying those are clothes, right? So now you put them, now, now they're hanging out on the line to dry. And now, and I really kind of feel like this weekend is just going to be like you relaxing and really not trying to get into much of anything because you're healing from this. This feels like it was pretty tumultuous, especially with this strength card here, the way that looks, I mean, that looks, that looks pretty fucking scary with that devil there. If this would, it doesn't seem to want to focus, but... Maybe we don't want that to focus. We don't want to bring that devil back into focus, do we? But it, I'll be damned. Uh, I mean, it damn sure has helped you get down to the bottom of. I wanted to say I heard your emotions. It's helped you uncover more. It's helped you become more independent, more autonomous, more of yourself. It helped you clear away a lot of the the baggage is what I just heard. Okay. And then we have the moon here again, and then we have the moon in the front of the card, or in the front of the deck. Um, so this have very well could have had been a byproduct of that, that full moon in Leo we had last weekend, okay? Because technically, throughout this week, we'd been in the post-full moon energies, right? Okay. And speaking of which, and I'll put, I'll put a card up, I'll put a link um in on the video but speaking of post full moon energies you might want to go back and check on that post full moon reading or like happy hour that wasn't it was an instagram live video that i did um which is up here on youtube so it just check my channel or i put a, i'll put a little card up there on a link for you guys to check it and I'll, i guess i'll do that i'll put it in the description box too if you want to go back and watch that reading again or watch that video again the post full moon instagram live session that i did um just to see how maybe that lined up with you in ways that you maybe didn't recognize it during the cycle or um like when you watched that video if you've if you've already watched it yeah <sighs> okay well this is good though it does it this does feel very relieving i'm not gonna lie it feels very very relieving so Excellent. Let me, before I go any further, because the sun is coming up. Oh, uh -huh, look, the King of Pentacles. Let me just um, close my blinds a little. Okay. Um, the King of Pentacles is on the top of the deck right now, which I think is actually pretty, pretty good or important to point out because this definitely does feel like an energy of you being way more oh shit way more well manifested than you were in the past and hello the tower is at the bottom of the deck there um so this could have been a really sh uh, a really big shock to your system whether that involves other people or not i don't really i think this is more this feels like it's more of an internal situation for you um <clears throat> But it really shook some shit up. Um, it, it really, I, I want to say, it helped knock loose a lot of things that might have been stuck and stagnant. It might have helped you clear out a lot of the cobwebs, potentially. Um, this is all a good thing, though. Don't get me wrong. I have to keep an eye on my mic because, uh, yeah, the batteries are dying, but I'm cheap and I don't want to throw them away yet. <laughs> Okay. All right. So let's get into the rest of the reading here. For your weekend. Let's see what we've got. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, February 14th through Sunday, 
February 16th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. We're gonna, okay. All right, five shuffles. At first I heard five shuffles and then I heard 10 shuffles. And I was like, you know what? I am not sitting here doing 10 shuffles. <laughs> five shuffles it is, one. Two. Three. Four and five. Alrighty, kids, let's see what we've got for your weekend. Weekend edition. What do you want to talk to, speak with us about, Spirit, for this next few days? Friday, February 14th through Sunday, February 16th. Friday, February 4th. Oh, okay. What would you like to discuss with us for the weekend here? Oh, all right. I'm going to give do one more poll. Okay, one last poll, and then we'll see what we've got. Friday, February 14th for the collective here, Spirit. Friday, February 14th through Sunday, February 16th. Okay, that's enough. All right, so we have, very interesting. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups as the overall energy. Okay. Turn it upright. Not this side though. All right. The Sun, the Chariot, Strength, Temperance, the Devil with his back turned. Okay, two of swords, page of swords, knight of pentacles. Look at all this major arcana. So there's still an energy of being cordoned off right now. Almost, almost quarantined. And I'm getting that from the sun. This is not a bad thing because you look at this side of the sun, you have the young boy or the young child and the horse that are normally in the sun, but they're like behind walls. This is for your own protection. This is for your own good. For some of you, this is solitude that you are seeking for yourselves. Others of you, this is a little bit of a quarantine energy that the universe has you in. Okay. I do feel like, however, with the chariot here, it's like you're building some sort of momentum what I really feel like is happening here is if you are feeling more isolated than usual, whether that's by your own doing or just that's just the natural flow of things right now, there is definitely an energy here where you are working on clearing up a lot of the things that may be holding you back, a lot of fears, anxieties, um, apprehension, whatnot, whatever, because we do have strength here again, but it's here with temperance, okay? And then you have the devil here, but the devil's back is turned, all right? I really do feel, again, we're talking about, Spirit is <laughs> bringing up, that, bringing back that reading of the final wash, and I'll put it up here too. That's another card I'll put up in there. Um you really might want to go back and watch that reading again too from last weekend talking about this this feels like a final wash because now that i think about it looking back over the week you could have been dealing with this from that last weekend all the way through now which is really interesting because i kind of experienced something like that i got triggered pretty hard last weekend and i didn't even realize it was like midweek of this week that i was like oh wow you know what that reading that i did about last weekend that really kind of resonated with me. I might even want to go back and watch that. But I got, I remember I got triggered pretty hard last Saturday. And I guess I've been dealing with that trigger all week. But the focus for me has been recognizing that it was a trigger, a trigger and doing whatever I needed to do to heal from that and to, to push that away. Okay, so... 
this is the overall theme, the overarching theme for you here. With the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. The overall energy of the Seven of Pentacles with this Ace of Cups here, it ties into what's going on here. Because I feel like there is... Sorry, I lost... Um, I was trying to put this back into perspective. Um, so this... The, this is, these are the, the major players. This is the major energy that's coming, that's working in your life right now. Okay, so with the sun, the chariot, uh, strength, and temperance, and the devil, it's like things, things that may have been hidden or things that may have been blocking you from with the sun here that have, that have been blocking you from moving forward with the chariot, you've been overcoming strength. And bringing, and bringing yourself into greater balance here with temperance in the face of whatever the devil might represent for you, whether that's fears, um, belief systems, addictions, toxicity. I just heard narcissism or maybe mar narcissistic people, narcissistic situations, um, toxic situations, okay, for sure. Um, you're facing all of that. And with the seven of pentacles here, it's like you're very much in an energy of realizing that you reap what you've sown so far um and coming to terms with that or well it's not really an or but there's a there's like a there's a other way of looking at it where it's like um almost an energy of how did i end up here yet again in some cases it, you could be saying that the difference however is there is love influencing this whether this is a love for another person that you have, or this is just a love for yourself, Ace of Cups, regardless of what that means for you specifically, love is the influence here. Okay, and so because of that, we have the second row. We have the Two of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. All right, the, so the Two of Swords is an energy of um, you having gained some sort of mental balance or mental clarity. And it may, maybe this is not like ultimate mental balance or mental clarity, but it's definitely damn sure better than what you had going on in the past. Okay. I just heard I'm seeing things clearer now than I have ever seen them before, especially with this sun energy here. Okay. But part of the reason why you're cordoned off or why you might feel a little bit quarantined or contained right now is because there's still an energy of trying to figure out what steps to take to move forward? Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Especially if, well, I don't want to say especially if, because this just overall, this just feels like you're just in a much wiser energy than you have been in the past. So there's no reason to really rush anything. You are very, very aware of that at this point. And it's not even like you're trying to rush anything because it feels like this wash cycle okay this final wash cycle feels like it was pretty heavy like pretty fucking intense but only because not and, and that's the intense it wasn't intense because of the fact that you know you did something real terrible and you really got to learn your lesson now no it's just it was really intense because you were finally able to handle it you were finally really able to face it face it head on and really do something about it really change up the game, really flip the script on whatever this devil represents for you here. Because it because you have a sense of greater balance with temperance, okay? I mean, all major arcana in this top row, five of them. This is a big change. This is a big step for someone. Very good. Indeed, it is necessary. This is what they just said. Okay. So let's get to some clarification at this point. Um. <laughs> I don't know who this is for, but I just heard, will you marry me? So it could be a situation in, in which someone is... Um, wanting to take that leap wanting to take that next step in a relationship somehow but but um this final wash system or 
uh, cycle has been in preparation of doing that. Okay. That's cool. All right. So what do I want to clarify first? All right. Let's talk about this first. Because this feels like the current action right now. I mean, we can we can go a little bit deeper into this, into all of this major arcana energy here, the sun, the chariot, the um, strength, temperance, and the devil, but this feels pretty self-explanatory, to be quite honest. And I, I, this is the overarching energy, and we've been, technically, we've been talking about this all week, now that, now that you think about it, okay, now that I think about it, we've been, we've been talking about this all week. So um, let's look at this now, because this is, this feels like, your action steps moving forward. So, let's look a let's look a little. Ooh, judgment is at the bottom of the deck here. All right. So, the two of swords, the page of swords, the knight of pentacles. Slowly but surely, trying to move forward, trying to figure out what to do to move forward, how to move forward, where do we even go from here? Is a question. That I'm picking up on. Like, what are my next steps? And with this Two of Swords and this Page of Swords energy, I really kind of feel like, which is tempered with temper with, with the um the Knight of Pentacles, I really kind of feel like you're sitting in a very receptive mode right now, just trying to allow the inspiration or the information to come to you. I don't feel like you're working too hard to seek out any sort of information. That's okay. Because quite frankly, what is best for you right now is, I feel like, is to rest for sure. So <laughs> it's entirely possible that the Four of Swords may come out um, to clarify this or at some point here. Um, but also to be, put yourself in alignment with what the next phase is, and you don't have to be consciously aware of that just yet. You can take some time to rest and recuperate and find your balance and get into that alignment for whatever is next, and then allow the inspiration to come to you. What do you know? What, how do you know if that, what that alignment would be? If you can't really see it, you can't visualize it, you feel it. You feel your way there, okay? And you just allow your thoughts to flow. And the things that feel good, you hold on to those. The things that don't feel good, you acknowledge them and then change your focus. Yes? Okay. One last shuffle. And then let's look a little deeper into this. Two of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Oh, look, there's the Knight of Cups right on top of that Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Oh shit. There's the two of cups. Damn y'all. We're talking about we're talking about a relationship here. Union, I'm hearing partners coming together. Oh, but look at that. There is the motherfucking devil again. Good lord. We have the two of cups, the queen of swords, the page of cups, the devil, not the devil, death and the four of pentacles. Holy shit, man. Um, so this is why... All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, fine. Um, so in this case, the devil here is representing some sort of bond or a union. And I swear, this. I was saying this yesterday... And spirit keeps saying it's karmic ties, but I'm not I'm not completely convinced that this is just a karmic relationship. What I feel like here is this is a relationship where a soulmate a soul a really strong soul tie, a soul bond, okay? And it's not and I do feel like there's love here between these individuals, but there's also a sense of like, holy shit, why do I have to be attached to you? Like why can't why can't there be someone else? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why don't I have, why don't I have a choice in this matter? And it's not even a situation in which it's like, look, I hate you. I resent you. I don't want you around me, blah, blah. That's not what I'm picking up here. It's just, it's just literally a situation in which you guys are bound, bound to each other.
Now, this is a general reading, you guys, so take it as it resonates. This, this absolutely could be a karmic tie, a karmic partner here. Okay, but it also could be fear. Because what else I have here is I have the Four of Pentacles, I have Death, the Page of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. So I'm seeing kind of like a progression of a storyline here. So what, with, the, with the Four of Pentacles and Death, it seems that someone, someone was at, at some point in their situation, someone was really rigid in their thinking, was probably super, maybe quite selfish, um, was really holding on to something like maybe the status quo, something that was established. There could have been, um, could have had something to do with family um, because I am feeling like a foundational energy with this four of pentacles. And so it could be something that you learned early on in life, whether that be from your peers in school or just from your family. Um, but that has changed death it seems that that some to some capacity that has been released there has been a release here there's been a transformation and thus someone is now way more open emotionally or is trying to be or would like to be or is kind of looking for an opportunity with this page of swords looking for an opportunity to be more open emotionally but here's the thing we've got the queen of swords right in between all of that and the two of cups and the knight of cups in which someone could be coming forward to make some sort of offer to share some sort of truth but in the middle of all that we do have the queen of swords which could absolutely be why the devil is here because the queen of swords would absolutely incite a sense of fear and apprehension like oh oh i don't even know if i want to approach this person let alone say anything to them Now, that could have been a product of whatever happened in the past. So now this person that you or someone wants to approach is kind of on the defensive. I mean, it makes perfect sense. It's very much an energy of fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Well, with this, with this queen of swords here, you're not about to fool this person again. That's for sure. But now for the person that's sitting here in this Queen of Swords energy, I kind of want to tell you to lighten up a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me, guys, because things are not necessarily as they seem on the surface. There is a transformation that has happened here. There even could be an energy of releasing toxic or karmic ties that you may not necessarily know about. Stand your ground. Don't let any, don't, don't take any shit from anybody, but also don't be too cold. That's not really necessary because I kind of feel like for whomever is in this Queen of Swords energy, I feel like you want this Two of Cups, Knight of Cups. For some of you, you even want it from the person that is on your mind that you might be on the surface being like, nah, screw this person, blah, blah, blah. They're, they're an asshole. This, they're, they're this, that, and the third. Well, that's just your ego talking. That's just a front. Deep down, you know for a fact that you do actually still want this person. And you could be so heavily in this Queen of Swords energy because you're you're afraid um, and you don't wanna get hurt again. Especially you're not trying to get hurt by this person. Like you would rather push this person away than get hurt by them again. Okay, I get it. But if, 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 if you really truly wanna be with this person, then maybe you should not <laughs> push them away, right? So the devil really could just represent fear. You know what? I want to I want to talk about this devil energy because this shit has been coming up all week. Ah, look at that. The 5 of swords. That's exactly exactly what I was talking about. We do have the empress the nine of pentacles but the five of swords is actually the energy that i was picking up on here with this four of pentacles and death <clears throat> the trouble the drama the the fuckery the tomfoolery but okay yeah i want to get i want to look a little bit more what is this devil energy why does this just keep coming up two more shuffles here what can you tell us? What can you tell us about this devil energy spirit? What can, what, what's, why is, all right, why is this devil energy here? Why is this devil energy here? Please. Oh, yeah, look at that. 
We've got the five of pentacles with the high priestess. Wow. Okay. Overall, all oh, overall energy is the sun though. All right. So check it out. The devil is representing fear here. And this is absolutely what I've been talking about over this week where, um, you know, there, there's a lot of things that there's a lot that's unknown right now with the high priestess. There's a lot that's, there, there's probably a lot of illusionary things around you. Um, and that really is, I mean, it, it's literally the devil taking what's not clearly seen right now and twisting it literally and trying to keep you in a sense of inadequacy in an energy of feeling lack it's literally trying to keep you from moving forward it's trying to hold you in your place it's trying to to, to make all of the illusionary stuff worse than they already are it's like that. I just, I just got a, a hit. There's a, there's a Taylor Swift song. That I'm sure many, many of you know. It's called "Out of the Woods," and um, in the bridge, the lyrics are, um, "Hold on. Remember when we couldn't take the heat? I walked out and said I'm setting you free, but then the monsters turned out to be just trees. The monsters just turned out to be just trees. Like it's not." exact it's not what you think it's not what it seems but the devil is here trying to twist and contort and make you feel like you'll you'll never be good enough it's just one example of how this could look right and the best part about the way this is set up here is if you look behind those people in the five of pentacles they have salvation or the help of the church or whatever that that building is behind them all they have to do is turn around and ask for it. Well, right behind that card is the high priestess, the universe. All you have to do is turn around and ask the universe for help and they will help you. And trust me, you guys, I have been doing that over this last week and it absolutely works. I mean, yesterday, yesterday was a bad, like it wasn't a bad day, but I got triggered so hard and it was crazy like it literally came out of nowhere and it was all part of this same situation that this whole this whole um element of getting triggered that started last weekend um and carried out throughout the week and i didn't really see it that way until now in hindsight i'm looking back on it i'm like okay yeah that makes a lot of sense but yesterday i was just out and about doing my thing it was a great day to begin with like literally it was i mean it was raining but it was still a really nice day i was stopped at sally roots and i had lunch with my friends natalie was there i got to chat with her a little bit i got to chat with ruthie i mean it was cute i had a great afternoon and then i was on my way home and I had some errands to run because I had to pick up some things. So I'm just doing my thing and enjoying my day. But my thoughts were going and I hit this one thought that literally in, an, in a split second, you guys, it tanked everything, everything. And as, immediately, as soon as that thought hit my, my mind space, I like, I just got nauseous and it was downhill from there. Out of nowhere completely out of the blue but what i did was i chilled out i rested i meditated i took i i, I took an extra bath I, like i wasn't even really trying to take an eps well no that's not true i was on the fence about taking an epsom salt bath yesterday but then i but then that trigger then that that happened i was like oh, oh i really need this now but i remember sitting in that bath just praying just like god please help me like, please get me out of this mind space. Please help me to balance. Please help me to release all of this. Please help me to heal, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. And it worked. <laughs> and it worked so well that there was a point where the I it was time the bath was finished. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to get out of this bath right now. Like, this is my safe space. And <laughs> that's when God was like, Eric, you can take that safe space anywhere. I was like, you know what? You're right. Okay. <laughs> so I got out of the bath ask for help guys ask for help they will help you 
They want to help you. God's source, creator, spirit, your angels, your guides, your ascended masters, your, your ancestors, your spirit animals, whatever, they want to help you, but they can't do it unless you ask because of the law of free will. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, excellent. So now I want to talk a little bit more about this overarching, all of this major arcana here for you. But I'm going to do it from the Golden Universal Tarot because I want Spirit's take on this. So we have the Sun, the Chariot, Strength, Temperance, and the Devil. So I just want to see what Spirit wants to say to you about this. What messages Spirit has for you in terms of this? Where could this... Okay, all right, this just came to mind, so I'll ask it. Where where could this be leading you? Where could this be leading us, Spirit? Where is Spirit? Where is this leading us, Spirit? One last shuffle. Okie dokie. Where is this leading us, please, Spirit? Nine of Cups, well, Satisfaction, Wish Fulfillment, Temperance. I want to get one more pull. We have the Nine of Cups with Temperance so far. Oop, the Hermit. Okay, where is this leading us, Spirit? That's enough, they're saying. Okay. Oh, what the King of Cups is now at the bottom of the deck. All right, so um, emotional security, emotional satisfaction. It's leading you to a space of understanding yourself better, the hermit, bringing yourself into greater alignment, greater balance with temperance, and thus wish fulfillment, satisfaction. And this does feel like, you know, physical satisfaction and i don't mean like you know pleasures of the flesh blah blah and all that kind of stuff, and like greed and gluttony and all that no but i mean like three-dimensional like 3d satisfaction like wishes being fulfilled in the 3d okay and you do have now the king of cups at the bottom of the deck so this could be read many ways. Either this could be you in that King of Cups energy, moving forward with your heart's desire, um, being true to yourself, speaking your truth, owning up to what your heart really is asking for or leading you towards or wanting. It could also be you attracting in a masculine energy that is emotionally available that wants to express him, him or herself. For some of you, this is a creative project. What I'm picking up on this is, um, so this process here has been clearing space or clearing the way for you to really start expressing yourself. I'm hearing expressing yourself emotionally, but that could come that, but that could be in the form of art. That is what I'm getting specifically. It could be art. Um, oh, okay. I'm getting something else here. It could be um, working with children. That's something that's very specific that just came through. Working with children in some way. Like I'm seeing like I'm literally seeing like kindergartners or just young children. You could be an art teacher. Maybe you want to be an art teacher. Maybe you could be going into a maybe this could be like starting an after school program to help children learn how to express themselves more, to learn about the arts, to learn about um inner expression. That's very cool. Oh my god. I don't know who that's for, but that's beautiful. <laughs> like, hold on, what's your number is? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, this is good. This is very good. All right. It's leading to a greater sense of expression. It's leading to a greater sense of emotional maturity, emotional availability. That's beautiful. That really, really is beautiful. And it makes sense that this would be so challenging, quite frankly. Because this feels like a massive, major turning point in your life. Like, this is, this, this really, I just heard this could be the start of everything. You never know until you find out. And there's only one way to find out, isn't there? That's keep on plugging, trucking along down that path. And do not worry. Take it slow. Knight of Pentacles. You don't have to rush anything. Okay, Oracle Guidance. 
for your weekend is coming from the Earth Warriors Oracle. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to title this reading, this this whole week has been, was like an extended watch, wash cycle. Because like, in hindsight, when I look back on it now, and I think back to like the things that we've been talking about all week, between morning coffee and happy hour, the happy hour pregame show, and which is up now, if you guys haven't checked it out, I highly recommend that you do so. Um, especially for those of us on the Twin Flame journey, um, it's another little chat that, um, that we have that we had going on with the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculines, you are more than welcome to watch also. Um, but just when I look back on all of the sessions that we've had over the week, this has been like an extended wash cycle that started, that kicked off last weekend. Very interesting. Okay, last shuffle, and then we'll see what Oracle Guidance we have for your weekend. For your weekend, what oracle guidance do we have for us? What oracle guidance do you have for us, please, Spirit, for the weekend? February 14th through the 16th and beyond, or at least just for this session here. There it is. Card number 40, Hiaka, Sorceress of Light. It's a beautiful card beautiful i mean this is a beautiful deck anyway but i'm excited to read this card this feels very very good hiaka sorceress of light <clears throat> oh wait hold on sip some tea here <laughs> okay here we go hiaka no enemy shall defeat you, not by night, nor by day, not upon the earth, nor in the soul. You are divinely protected and empowered. You shall fulfill your destiny with joy in your heart and laughter in your belly. Play, be in nature, feel the freedom of happiness within you even in this moment. These are your sacred powers, and with them you shall take every step upon your journey successfully, and nothing shall thwart your divine destiny. In a reading this says, Ask for healing mentoring and assistance or assistance to approach to support you now this support will help you feel stronger and more empowered so as to deal with any challenge and be reassured that your spirit can handle it see ask for help if you need it when you need it when you want it whatever there is spiritual protection for you now as you follow the guidance to explore conscious movement and creative self-expression there we go this can stir up old energy releasing it from you and allowing vital presence to take hold within you. You are going through an initiation in which you will need to reassert your happiness and joy anytime it slips into the darkness of doubt, fear, or anxiety. Take time to dance, sing, drum, and affirm your aliveness with joy and courage. Become spiritually bolder in the face of anything that attempts to diminish you. Have faith in the power of the divine being, the supreme power. You are watched over by love. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Not tomorrow morning, Monday morning. Yeah? <laughs> Take care. Bye.